Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Psychic Goddess Erica, here with a special Pick a Card collaboration with my friend Melissa, who goes by Tarot by Melissa here on YouTube. So today's topic is how are you perceived at work? So this could be if you're curious about how your coworkers view you, or how a specific coworker views you, or maybe your boss. And if you are someone who doesn't work in like a traditional work environment where you don't have like usual coworkers, maybe you're an entrepreneur or maybe you're some sort of influencer, you can still take part in this because you can just consider the other people that work in your same industry or same field, you know, as coworkers or how they perceive you at work or the work environment in your field as a entrepreneur or a contractor or influencer or something of that nature or something of that nature as well so how this pick a card works is after you are done here you will go on over to the link in the description box here to melissa's video on the same topic to extend your reading the timestamps will be down below in the description box as they always are for my readings. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, release what doesn't. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by going to my website and that information is also down below in the description box as well. Today, I'm working with the Archer's Career Oracle deck which is one of the ones I created. Sorry to repeat myself if you guys are new and you don't understand why, I'm, it's a different name. Um, Archer was my maiden name. So if you're interested in this deck, uh, you can get this on the information in the description box. I'm also working with, I think this one is the Power Animal Oracle Cards and the Soul's Journey Lessons Cards. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so go ahead and take three deep breaths. Let your intuition do the picking and you can pause this if you need to, to make your selection. Here is card one. Here in the middle is card two. And then over here is card three. Okay, those of you who chose card one, let's go ahead and see how you are perceived at work. Your message is the butterfly and the message is transformation. So they perceive you at work as like constantly evolving, constantly changing, constantly leveling up is what I'm getting. Um, even if it may not be everybody, the majority of the collective sees you this way or if you're wondering about somebody specific they see you this way they see that you have transformed it or that you are in the process of transforming and they do realize that it's not always easy they do feel like you are making big breakthroughs or in the process of getting ready to make big breakthroughs to go to that next level um what i also like about these cards is that um what you may like to do is look up the characteristics of these certain types of animals or in this case in insects to see um, what their characteristics are and the environment they typically live in because that is also telling in terms of the energy that's coming through of your quality or how people view you in the work environment um, so the other thing is that they see you as someone who does a, does a lot on their own that you are making this transformation and taking it upon yourself to make these changes is something else that I'm picking up. Sorry, I took a sip of my coffee. <laughs> um, so that's what I feel with that too. I wanna get another message with the same deck. How are you perceived at work? For those that chose card one, truth be told. You are also perceived as abundant, and we have the buffalo energy too, so you may also want to look up the buffalo, their characteristics, what they're known for, the environment they're in. But you know what? When I think of a buffalo, I think strong. I think um, sturdy, you know? I think um, protective. And whenever I see horns, I always think of crown energy, so... 
you are perceived as knowing your worth or coming into knowing your worth. Um, also, spirit is reminding you that you need to know that you are provided for in all ways. So that's a side message. They also may view you as bringing in abundance to the work environment that you are, um, you know, maybe you're somebody who brings in contracts or makes deals or just brings in more money or even if not just money just more value something of substance to the work environment that you are perceived as abundant in the work environment let's get another message with the uh soul's journey lessons card so those of you who chose card one how you perceived at work truth be told courage you are perceived as courageous I love this so far. Um, also, you are perceived as trust, trusting or trustworthy. Or maybe this is also something that you may be working on. Maybe you're learning to trust your own skills. Maybe you're learning to trust um, your own work even more at um, in the work environment. That is coming up. And these affirmations, you can pause this if you want to. Um, so that you can write them down and repeat them for maybe 40 days um, because these affirmations here on the bottom may also help you out as a side message so courage i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly so those may help you out and let's also get a closeout message with the career deck archer's career oracle deck See how are you perceived at work? Card one, truth be told. Look in the mirror. So, what I'm seeing this is that a lot of how others perceive you depends upon how you perceive yourself, depends upon how you view your own sense of work and work ethic and value because when you show up and if you show up with confidence and knowing who you are, what you're about and what you have to offer, they will notice that vibe. But if you show up as insecure and fearful and worried, they will notice that too. But I also see the message of bigger audience and eyes on you. So people are taking notice of you. People are watching um some of you may be growing a network some of you may be growing your client base some of you may be growing your audience or followers or subscribers that people see that you are growing and that just that there's eyes on you people are watching there's a bigger audience you know they're taking note of what you're doing and what you're up to um for some of you that may feel really exciting and good for some of you that may feel warmy i'm sorry for some of you that may feel a little bit annoying or like gossipy kind of energy but either way people are noticing you so that is what i see for you card one hopefully you've enjoyed it comment below how it resonated with you make sure that you go on click the link to go to melissa's video and continue and extend your reading for you know a different take and even more um things that could be picked up on on how you're perceived at work and remember to like this video subscribe to my channel and i will talk to you guys another time Bye, card one. Hi, those of you who chose card two, let's go ahead and see how you are perceived at work. And your first message is the guardian with the message of the wolf. So they see you as very protective. They also feel like you can do either work alone, like the lone wolf, that you can handle things on your own, or that if you have to be put into a team collab, you can do that too. But they know that you're very protective of what you are working for. They know you are very protective of your creations and your efforts. Um, this is also a side message too for you that you're, you are being protected, that you do have guardians watching over you. And the other cool thing about this deck is that um, I like to look up the characteristics of the animal because that is going to also apply to the messages for you in terms of how you are being perceived. So you may want to look up the characteristics of a wolf and even their living environment, their habits, etc. Because that's all going to apply to how you are perceived at work as well. But they see you as that wolf right now. Like I keep hearing, don't F with me. <laughs> so you're perceived at work as like, don't F with you like and if they some people may try 
and they may learn their lesson quickly that kind of a thing and that could be due to just because you know how to handle your own or just because your spirit guides really really handle your back so you don't really worry about much um me personally i prefer the latter you know let spirit take care of whatever because you are guarded and they and spirit has your back but they they are seeing you as someone who is just super protective super smart super strong too um and you can be loyal too you can be very loyal and they see that loyal to your work loyal to your efforts loyal loyal to um what you are building the other message here is you are safe and protected at all times so that is something that you need to know but let's get another message card two with the same deck otter the message of surrender so <clears throat> what i'm getting from this is just that you're perceived at work as somebody that's very creative or that you get a lot of things going that you get things moving you you are in an idea or a trendsetter is something i'm picking up and sometimes for some of you it may feel like that other people just kind of bite off your work or like basically can take your ideas and run with it or they'll take something that you do not credit you or that they might do the same thing that you do but other people seem to like move forward with what you started something like that but you are the creative like center of those ideas and so they kind of see you as somebody who surrenders and and releases but it's not because you're weak it's because deep down they know that you are this wolf and even though it may feel challenging a lot and i'm i can i can feel the frustration for some of you again this is a general reading so all of it may not resonate with everyone but for some of you i can feel that frustration of like why do they keep take why does everybody keep taking my stuff instead of being original that kind of a vibe um and they they the thing is people at work perceive you as inspirational so in a way it's a compliment but i it's also frustrating so i i completely understand that the other thing um about otters is they look super cute but they can also be quite aggressive if they need to be so you may look cute, <laughs> um, but you can also handle your own if you need to. And um, people can sense that. But let's get another message. Card two with the Soul's Journey Lessons cards. How are you perceived at work? Truth be told. Purpose. You show up with purpose. Uh, some of them may feel like you are living in your purpose. Um, they and you that they feel like you know your your what you're here to do and this is also an affirmation that you can use for at least 40 days i know what i'm here to do if you are struggling with a like a blurry period or foggy period in your life right now where you feel like your purpose is not clear try that affirmation and it may help you out but others perceive you as knowing your purpose and knowing what you need to do but i also see the message here of relationships so they are really noticing the relationships that you're developing now for some of you this could be because you talk about your personal life and or maybe you put your personal life out there and so maybe or maybe they see it on social media or something and so they're like watching your personal relationships and some of them are curious about it um, but it could also be that they perceive you as building these really interesting work relationships as well um so that's what i see with that and that the affirmation that you can use here for yourself is i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good so this is going to help you out this affirmation with those feelings of people that are taking from you or taking your ideas this this may help you to attract people who serve in your highest good moving forward um so you may want to work with that affirmation but let's get a closeout message with the Archer's Career Oracle deck. Okay. 
I just heard I want to be like you. So keep some people in your work environment. They want to be like you. Okay. Stop the pattern. And what else do we have here? Big money coming. Okay. So what I'm feeling from this is just that there's a pattern that we already talked about of feeling like your creativity is being stolen or taken some of you this could even be like maybe you are influencer maybe people keep stealing your content we all know that there's way too many scammers on every social media platform pretending to be other people and it's sickening at this point so for some of you you may be have been or a victim of that and you want the pattern to stop which I totally understand that's happened to me in the past, but <clears throat> super annoying. But either way, if not that, there's this pattern. There's a pattern of just feeling like people keep taking from you and you want the pattern to stop. What spirit wants you to know is that it's kind of like you are someone who, like I was saying before, is like a trendsetter or just a very creative um, spark. And people, you want the pattern to stop, but to some degree, it's not going to stop. And I know that's not what you want to hear because there are people that are always still going to see you as inspirational. But what you can do is just make sure that you're applying protective layers, however that may be, to protect your creative intellectual property or to protect that the origins of your creations however that may be maybe you need to keep a paper trail of certain things whatever it might be but what spirit is also wanting you to know that it says big money coming but i'm also hearing you're seen as a big deal you're perceived as a big deal in your work environment and you may not even feel that way but for some reason there are people that see you as a, a big deal um, in your work environment. And also in time, you may begin to see financial gain for all of your efforts if you're not already big money coming. So keep, keep, <clears throat> keep your head up, keep your chin up, don't give up, you know, like stand tall. Like both of these, both of these animals right here are just standing tall. Do they look like that they're about to back down from something no you know the otter might surrender and be like oh <laughs> i see what you did but i'm also i'm also looking further ahead i'm also seeing the bigger picture and this wolf looks like mm -mm, i am not gonna be weak so keep your head up keep your chin up there's rewards on the way kind of see it as like a blessing in disguise and kind of see it as like even the celebrities have these haters or even the celebrities have people copying their stuff because they're seen as a big deal and not to say that celebrities are everything because they are just people too but it's just an example i'm giving that even they go through things like this too so hopefully this help was helpful helpful <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it um comment below how it resonated with you Make sure that you go on over to the description box to click on the link to go to Melissa's video on the same topic to extend your reading so that you can get even more information about how you're perceived at work. And remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye, card two. Hi, those of you who chose card three, let's go ahead and see how you are perceived at work. We have the badger, the message of perseverance. So you are perceived as someone who perseveres. You overcome obstacles, you overcome challenges. If for some reason some of the people at work know your personal life, they know that you are overcoming big things in your home life or your personal life or things like that. So the other interesting thing about these cards is I like to look up the messages, I'm sorry, not the messages, the characteristics of the animal that is shown. Because if you look up their characteristics, their habits, their nature, and their environment, that is all going to apply to how you are being perceived at work. So the badger, they also, I if I remember correctly, they can be kind of aggressive too <laughs> so they know that if need be you will 
aggressively protect yourself protect what you need to also um the message here is dig in and see it through to completion so they also burrow i think is what it's called so you know they also perceive you as someone who digs deep who digs deeper into issues who digs deeper into research who digs deeper into resolving certain things or um, looking into situations or finding out the truth or delivering the truth or whatever it might be however it resonates however digging deeper um into things resonates for you maybe some of you are even therapists and your job is to dig deep into problems and figure out things or maybe you work in the spiritual realm something like that however it resonates with you if that does but they also see you as someone who digs deep and that you don't give up you don't give up until it's resolved and it's completed or the task is done they see you as just that persevering energy but let's get another message of the same deck. Those of you who chose card three, how are you perceived at work? Truth be told. Dear, the Pathfinder. So you're, you also, well, I'm also hearing courageous as a side message. I'm hearing that they see you as having courage. But um, I heard that through my clear audience. But you are also seen as very intuitive, very, you trust your instincts, you're very intuitive, um, you find the solutions like we were talking about, uh, the pathfinder, you find the way, you find the way through. Um, the other interesting thing about deer is that if something feels off, they, they get out of the situation really quickly. So they also know that if something doesn't feel good to you, if something doesn't feel right for you, that you will definitely turn it down or you will remove yourself from the situation. Um, so they see you as that too, but they also view you as this caring, gentle energy. And I mean that in a good way. It's like a mix of like, you're gentle, a good person and caring, um, but you're also kind of like this badger energy that if they, you have to be aggressive, then you will be. Um, but let's get another message card three with the soul's journey lessons cards how are you perceived at work truth be told let me take a sip of my coffee real quick <clears throat> okay <clears throat> fear okay so they can sense your fear sometimes but they also at the same time feel like you bring balance to the workplace so it's tip it's normal to have fear sometimes and maybe other people in the work environment have fear and you actually help to um, balance that out sometimes but they know that sometimes even when you're afraid that you address things head on even when you're afraid you keep trying even when you're afraid you try to find the solutions and overcome so that's a good thing you may also want to pause this if you need to so that you can look at these affirmations here because these affirmations may actually help you if you use them for at least 40 days. The message here is, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So remember, love is a frequency. So it's important to make sure that you're doing things that you love, that you are following your heart, that you are moving from a place of love and not ego as a frequency. I'm not necessarily talking about romance at this time. But also, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So, you know, we're all guilty of judging ourselves sometimes. We're all guilty of judging others sometimes. But at the end of the day, none of us are perfect. At the end of the day, we're all, all on our own timing in our lessons in our journey so it's really important to have that balance of not judging yourself so harshly and not judging others so harshly either because we're all learning lessons here on this earth school but also i'm getting this feeling like at work sometimes people look to you to be that balance or they need you to be more of that balance and not dwell in fear but let's get a closeout message with the Archer's Career Oracle deck. Those of you who chose card three. Let's see what's going on. Truth be told. 
options to consider. So what I feel like this is that you are the type of person that you don't just stick to plan A. You may have a plan A and you may be determined determined to go get plan A done, but you also have plan B, C, and D just in case. You, you always understand that there's other doorways, other options, other things to consider, and that you don't have to be stuck with just one thing. So they perceive you as that person who considers all the options. They can, they could, they view you at work. They perceive you as that person who sees like the bigger picture, the bigger perspective from all angles, all sides of things. And then we also have the message of time to travel. So you, some of you may actually travel for work. Some of you may be um, planning a vacation or moving or relocating or just some of you, they perceive you as someone who just travels a lot in terms of like you're always on the move. You're always getting things going. You're always getting things done. You don't really stay put. You don't really stay stagnant too much. You You know when it's time to get moving. You know when it's time to go from one place to the other or to change opportunities or to change um, work environment or path altogether. So that's what I see going on for you guys. Card three, hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment below how it resonated with you. Make sure you head on down to the description box and click on the link to go to Melissa's video on the same topic to extend your reading so you can hear even more about how you are perceived at work. And if you, um, enjoy this. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye, card three.